So why is medicine biased against chiropractic? Well, it's a long story. It goes back many years ago, basically back into the 1930s. Uh, the Rockefellers, uh, who was a big oil family at the time, uh, were looking for ways to sell more oil, right? Well, back then, a lot of medicines were petroleum-based. And he started looking, the Rockefeller started looking at the different forms of healthcare. At the time, there was chiropractic, osteopathy, and medicine were all on about the same level field. Well, when they started to realize that they could sell more oil, more petroleum by, through the medical profession, and it's a endless business because medicines don't fix anything. They just numb the problem so that they can, you know, keep you coming and keep you buying more and more. It was a great business opportunity. So the Rockefellers invested in medicine big time, went into the colleges and opened medical schools and put millions and millions of dollars into promoting medicine, which ultimately turned into uh, they started actually then developing pharmaceutical industry, which all started back in the 1930s. So uh, back then, their, their goal was to basically say nothing else worked. They even lobbied hard to even create laws that basically said medicine was the only one that could diagnose and treat any condition known to man, right, which is absurd. But that's that's a law, actually, in the United States. So from that, they started teaching the medical doctors in school that if you did anything but practice medicine, it was quackery. Chiropractors were quacks. Chiropractors cause harm. Chiropractors create strokes and all of this propaganda to make people stay within the medical profession and stay taking their medication. So it goes on for years. There was a Wilkes case that went on in the 70s that we actually won against medicine because there was conspiracy to make medicine chiropractic look bad. Um, so it's a long story, but, but ignore it. At this point, the world's opened up. Eyes are opening. People are looking for alternative health care. Find an upper cervical doctor near you. Quit treating the symptoms with drugs. Find the cause. Correct the cause. Get your life back.